Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Mario. How are you? I'm very good. And you? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. How was your day? Mire, este, eh, um, I have a day, a good day. A good day? Nice. Tell me. Oh. So, what were you going to este, ask me? ¿Qué me iba a decir? Adelante. Ok, yo hay algunos que dicen, I'm fine. Uh -huh. Cuando le pregunta, ¿cómo está? I'm fine. Eh, ¿Cómo se? Sí, eh, ¿Eso qué significa? Estoy bien. Sí, tenemos varias respuestas para el how are you. Y de hecho, varias formas de preguntar también. Está, por ejemplo, how are you? How are you doing? How is it going? How's everything? Que todas significarían, ¿cómo estás? ¿Verdad? Y para responder, uh -huh. la primera opción, que sería la más común, sería I'm fine. Thank you, right? Ya sé cómo se escribe. Oh, let me write it in the no. chat. Ahorita se lo envío acá en Ajá, el chat. para no. Oh. For I'm fine. Thank you. So that would be the first answer. I'm fine. Thank you. Or you can also say, as you said, very good, very well. Very good, very well. Um, everything's fine. I'm doing well. Esas son algunas de las opciones para responder al how are you. Oh, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Ya no te. All right, great. ¿Y qué tal su día? Tiene algo mala conexión, mami. ¿Perdón? No, ahora solo estudiar. Estudiando. Que tiene algo mala su conexión, ¿verdad? O no sí. sé si es la mía que se queda. Oh, debe ser la mía. Sí, hace... Bueno, de hecho, esta semana ah. que ha estado así, súper mal. Y ya reporté, pero como oh. cuesta un mundo que arreglen, pues... Ah, tipo cinco en los cinco días ya sí. arreglar las cosas. Exacto, así pasa. ¿Y ahora trabaja usted o solo en la plataforma le toca ahora? Eh, no, yo también trabajo en otra institución por las mañanas, entonces siempre me toca ahí toda la jornada de la mañana y, y luego por las noches acá. Oh, toca pesado. Más o menos, sí. Así es. ¿Y ¿Cómo va con la plataforma, Mario? Ah, ahorita estaba eh, en la de in front, es oh. next to. En el audio, pero me he quedado okay. en, la, en la tercera porque me dice under, espere, bueno, espere, no lo voy a decir. Okay. Quiero ver la, lo que me preguntan ahí. Uh -huh. oh, me dice que el, el map está y me dice ahí under of newspaper, me dice. Under the newspaper tiene que ser. Ajá, y yo le pongo así y le pongo under eh, of the newspaper y no me la tira bien. No tiene que llevar el of, solo under the newspaper. Under, oh, voy a probar así. Okay. Under. Good evening, Andrea Michelle. Oh, hoy sí me la agarro. Thank okay. you. Oh, I see. You're welcome. No. And today we're going to review the prepositions too. Ahora vamos a ver eso también, Mario. Oh, ahora es sobre esto. Yep. We're going to talk about prepositions. Oh, no, yo iba atrasado. Oh. No, you're fine. Ah, pues sí. Vamos bien. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí. <laughs>
Hello, oh, Andrea Michelle, how are you? I cannot hear you. Very fine. Excellent. How was your day? Good. All right. Did you have to work or study? I study. Oh, you study. What do you study? Ahorita he estado con lo de inglés y sinceramente me he dado guerra ahorita con la, eh, no sé si puede decir unidad 3, no sé. Section 3. La, so, what's the ajá, most? En la sección, sí, en la sección 3.4 sí me he dado guerra. ¿Por qué? Ese dolor de cabeza me ha dado. Oh. Eh, fíjese que eh, estaba viendo... Quiero ver si sí, revisen la. Me he quedado en parte de la segunda y la Tres tercera punto conversación. Punto. Ok. Uh -huh. Y quiero ver. Primero pregunta de. Quiero ver. Permítame. En la segunda conversación pregunta si Laura es de. No sé si es de Estados Unidos. US. US. Let me check. No estoy segura. Eh, la cuestión está que ahí le puse where, me sale bien. De abajo pregunta si Laura es de ahí, le puse is, sale que está bien. De ahí pregunta si ella es la primera, si no quiero ver. Si ella es de UK, no sé a qué se refiere. No sé a qué se refiere. Le puse she's, me salió bien. Okay. La cuestión está que ya casi por terminar, casi a punto de llegar a la tercera conversación, las últimas dos, me sale, la tercera dice, Laura es la primera en hablar el lenguaje italiano, dice de que no, la cuestión está que para la, conceta, para la contestación, para la con, contestación no me... Entonces, ¿cuáles tenemos dudas exactamente? Andrea Michel. Lo siento. Entonces, eh, Lo ¿tenemos siento. duda ¿Qué? en conversación 3 o en cuál? En la final de la conversación 2, en las últimas dos y en la tercera. Tu mamá ya. Okay. Entonces, la conversación 2 va como Is Laura from the US? No, she is not. She's from the UK. Is she from London? Yes, she is, but her parents are from Italy. They are not from UK uh -huh. originally. UK is United States. Es donde está no, no, es donde no el encuentro. En este, en el B. Not from UK originally. Ajá. Sí, ahí Primero te... dice, pregunta en la primera de, en hablar el lenguaje italiano, el idioma italiano. De abajo sale no, no. Ahí no la puedo contestar. Oh, ok. So here we say, is Laura's first language Italian? No, it's not. Ajá. Aquí se tiene que responder utilizando it's. No, it's not. Fíjese que le puse... Intenté con ese, pero me salió que no. Eh, sí, ahí hay que tener mucho me cuidado no. con las tildes y los apóstrofes, porque son diferentes. Por ejemplo, acá yo ya lo tengo con el apóstrofe, pero si yo lo pusiera de esta forma, está con la tilde, entonces no me lo va a aceptar la plataforma. Si vemos, el apóstrofe es más como un palito, ¿verdad? Y, y la tilde va un poquito sí. acostadita. Entonces, hay que tener mucho cuidado con ese detalle. Porque esa uh -huh. tilde, pues, no la reconoce la plataforma. Por eso es que los marca incorrectos a veces. De igual forma, recordar uh -huh. que no debemos dejar espacios ni antes ni después de la respuesta. Sí. Ahorita ya lo puse, ya me salió bien. Okay. Y ahí con la de inglés, English, también no Again, sé. It's, it's English. También it's. Yeah. 
de ahí con la tercera conversación que me tiene Celinda, Celina y Carlos. Yep. Son de México. So you say, are Celina and Carlos from Mexico? And then it goes like, mm -hmm. no, they are not. And you say they're from Brazil. Are you from Brazil too? No, I'm not. I'm from Peru. So is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. And from, from Brazil, que iria? Are, are you from Brazil too? Are you? Is that all, Andrea? Fíjese que la de Cel la de Celine y Carlos, they are. Mm, Pero me creo que le escribí mal. Okay. And from Brazil, tiene que ir are you or you are, porque no es pregunta. Um, first you say they're from Brazil. Then you have the question, are you from Brazil too? No, siempre me salen malas. Esas últimas tres siempre me salen malas. Eh, acá puede ver la... Le voy a mandar una, una foto. Sí, está bien. Le voy a mandar una, una foto. Ok. Allá está en el cumbo rojo. Ok, espero su foto entonces y yo la reviso sí. cuando pueda y le, le respondo ahí. Va, está bien. All right, so good evening, Lorena. Check your microphone, please. Ahorita. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Hi. Thank you. Excellent. So, how was your day, Loren? ¿Qué tal su día? ¿Qué hice mi día ahora? Muy bien. Muy bien. All right. Great. Did you have to work? Me tocó trabajar. Eh, yo trabajo aquí en casa. Oh, okay. Yo soy profesora. Nice. You're a teacher too. Ajá, pero sí, trabajo en el bachillerato. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh -huh. And how about the platform? Solo que para el inglés no son muy buenas. <laughs> pero estamos aprendiendo, eso es lo bueno. Sí, ese es el reto que tenemos. Yes, that's right. So have you been working on the platform? Sí, ya ahorita trabajé empezar la las 5 voy. Oh, okay. La that's nice. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue working. That's very good. Good evening, Midei Martinez. Hello, Mibi. Oh, I cannot hear you. No, maybe we're having we're having trouble with the connection or with the microphone, maybe. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? 
Bye. Excellent. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Very, very good. All right, excellent. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. And tell me about the platform. Have you been working on it? Sí, it, ya hice, ya llegué a la mitad, hice el examen y lo hice, ya trabajé. Tres, solo lo único que los cuestionarios y el otro examen ya lo hice. Oh, that's nice. Very good. How was the exam? Was it easy or difficult? ¿Qué tal estuvo? ¿Fácil? ¿Difícil? ¿Cómo está el examen? Mm, sí, me. Digamos que medio, medio. Pero sí, oh. no me costó mucho. Costó. All right. That's nice. Sí, no me costó. Ok. Very well. Financiada este con los foros. Es... Es que es... Sorry, Lorena, I couldn't hear your question. Perdón, siempre tengo problemas con el internet, entonces por ratitos no les puedo escuchar. Sorry. Can you repeat that, please, Lorena? Le decía que, que con los foros donde es de, de grabar, porque en, en, me parece que en el de, de los números y el escenario y hay algunas conversaciones que no tiene que grabar, repetirlas y enviarlas al foro. Yo eso lo he hecho, pero no puedo. Ah, ok, o sí sea, es cierto, me dijo el otro día, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, ok, déjenme anotar por acá para eh, enviarle mañana eh, la explicación de cómo enviar los audios. Ok. So I got it. Good evening, Carlota. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Have you been working on you the I'm doing great. Thank you. Sí, trabajé. He trabajado hasta la 3.2, creo que ahí voy. Voy algo retrasadito. You're fine. You're doing well. We got today and tomorrow to continue working in section three. So we're good. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Fatima Navas. Good night, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Nice. So, tell me about the platform, Fatima. Have you been working over there? Oh, sí. Llevo un poco atrasada porque la semana pasada tuve un problema, entonces no me voy a estar metiendo porque estaba mal. Te parece decirlo. Pero ya voy por el 2.6 por ahí. Entonces, All right. Esta semana va a terminar bien. Very good. Just continue working then. Okay. Good evening, Christian. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine, thanks. How was your day, Christian? ¿Qué tal su día? It's a good day. All right, that's nice. I'm glad to hear that. And the platform, what can you tell me? Um, finally, lesson three. Okay. You're in lesson three already. Nice. That's great. Nice. Thanks. Good evening, Enrique Medrano. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. All right. That's nice. Tell me about the platform. Have you been working on it? Uh, 
Can you move? No, no. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Perdón, no, no le entendí. Oh, ¿ha estado trabajando en plataforma? Sí, sí. ¿Cómo vamos? En sección 3, ya. Me he trazado. Oh, ok. ¿En qué sección vamos? En la... Permítame abrir sección 2. En la 2. Ok, uh -huh. está bien. Solo siga trabajando. Recuerde que esta semana debemos completar hasta la sección 3. Ok. okay. All right. Good evening, Diana Argueta. Hi, me. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Tell me about the platform. Have you been working? Yes, but I estado ocupada. You've been busy. Okay. Yeah. What section are you in? ¿En qué sección va? En la 2. En la 2. Okay. Igual, es de seguir trabajando para que podamos completar el objetivo de esta semana, que es la sección 3, ¿verdad? Ok. Good evening, María Magdalena. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing well, thank you. So tell me about the platform. Have you been working over there? Um, no. Aún voy por la cuatro. You're in section four. four. You? Okay, that's yes. nice. Excellent. Okay. And Gerardo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? And teacher. Con problemas que me reinició la compu. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that happens a lot, right? <laughs> Technology is sometimes a headache. It's kind of complicated. Okay, so I think we're ready to start with our class. So welcome, everybody. And we're going to start by reviewing a little bit about this and these. So what do you remember? ¿Qué recordamos del uso de this and these? This is para singular. Okay. This plural. Exactly. We got this form, this for the singular. These is for these. the plural. Okay. Now tell me um, some example sentences. Algunos ejemplos de cómo utilizarlo. Do you have any? This is my cat. This is my cat. Very good. Tell me another example using these. Anybody? This is a pencil. This is a pencil. This is a pencil. Okay, very good. Now tell me one in the plural, please. These. These are. These are pencils. These are pencils. Very good. Okay, that's nice. Oh, okay, so we are going to just um, go ahead and watch a video right now to remember about the use of this and these, but in questions. So I need everybody to pay attention, please. Okay, there we are. Okay, that the subject is uh, this or Okay, just give me a second. Okay. 
Okay, my internet is not working so well today. Let me try again. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Goodness. Okay. So maybe we are not going to be able to watch the video, but let me just read the conversation first of all. So let's read it. It goes like, oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet, um, sorry, I bet they are on the table in, a, in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, no problem. And is this your wallet? Mm, no, it's not. Where's your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. This is my wallet. Okay, so it goes like that. I want you to take a look at the conversation and tell me if you have any questions about the pronunciation or about the vocabulary. Tenemos alguna consultita de la pronunciación o del vocabulario? Mm, sí, ¿qué okay. significa bet? Bet, apuesto. Yo apuesto que están en la, en la mesa. ¿Qué? Gracias. In my pocket. In my pocket, en el bolsillo. Any other question? No more. All right. So now I need a it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. Where are my car keys? Where are my car keys? Oh, are my my keys. keys. Relax, Kate. Relax. Relax. Are they in your purse? Are they, are in, they your in your purse? No, they are not. No, no they, are not. they are not. They are gone. They, they are gone. 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 I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. I, I bet, bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are these your keys? Are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. Yes, yes they, they, are. they are. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. See, no problem. See, no problem. No problem. And is this your wallet? And is uh, this your wallet? Your wallet? Your wallet? Yeah. Mm, no, it's not. Mm, no, no, it's not. not. Where's your wallet, Joe? Where's, Where's your, your wallet, wallet, Joe? Joe? In my pocket. In my, In pocket. my pocket. Wait a minute. Why a Wait minute? A minute. That is my wallet. That is my That's wallet. My wallet. That, is my wallet. that is my wallet. All right, excellent. So now let me ask for volunteers to read the conversation. Do we have any volunteers to read? Okay, that is the 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 la 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 conversación. Yes, Lorena. Voy a intentar. Okay, mm -hmm. very good, Lorena. And do we have a second volunteer? Maybe a boy? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Who's that? Andrea Michel. Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah. So, Andrea, you start. You're Kate. 
Oh no, where are my card keys? Relax, Kay. Are they in your purse? No, they are not. They are gone. I beat their on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your case? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. Um, is this your wallet? Mm, no, it's nowhere. Is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket? Why a minute? That is my wallet. Thank you, Lorena and Andrea. Okay, now I need everybody to repeat. Keys. 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 Relax. 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 Purse. 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 Gun. 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 Bet. 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 Table. Bet. Table. 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 Restaurant. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, let me see. Pocket. 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 Wait. 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 Minute. Minute. Okay, very well. So now let's talk about the questions See? using. Oh, this is crazy. Wait. Let me just get the examples. Let's see if it's possible. Okay, so meanwhile, let's take a look at the questions. Oh, we got that. Okay, meanwhile, it's loading. Let me just try to read the examples. We get some different yes, no questions and where questions would be. So the first. Hi, again, I'm having trouble with my internet. Sorry about this problem. Okay, no problem. so thank you. So I was explaining about the questions using these and this. Let me get this. Oh, okay, just give me a sec. I really don't know how to fix this. Okay, so I was telling you about the questions using this and these. So the structure would be, is this your cell phone, for example? Is this your cell phone? And then what could be the answer? ¿Cómo podemos responder? Yes, it's my cell phone. Yes, it's my cell phone. Or you could also say, yes, it is, right? In the short answer, yes, yes it is. Yes. Then we have the negative answer, no, it's no, not my it's cell not. phone. No, it's not, it's not. My cell phone. Or no, it isn't. No, it isn't, right? Okay, so that's how we make questions using is this. We use the verb be, then this, and then the complement. Then we have for Andres. the plural. Let me just get another Andres. color. We got, are these your keys? As in the, in the conversation, are these your keys? You say, yes, 
they are. They are. Or yes, they are my kids. Or no, they aren't. You could also say, no, they are not my kids. Okay, so as you see, we use the same structure, right? First the verb be, then these, then the complement. Do we have any questions about this? Is it clear? Estamos claros con esto? Si fuera este, el, el otro que no es you, no cambiarían las respuestas. Um, for example, de abajo en Ardis, um, como ese es el que me cuesta un poquito. El, ok, ¿sí? si lo tuviéramos que cambiar, ¿en qué forma? Para decir este, ustedes o ellos. Um, hmm, no sé si le comprendí bien la pregunta. Me está diciendo que si pudiéramos variar el your, ¿es eso? Sure. Uh -huh. Ok, sure. sí, podría ser, por ejemplo, are these his keys? Ya no le estoy preguntando si las llaves son suyas, sino que le estoy preguntando si son de él. Ok, are these keys, are these his keys? Estas llaves son de él. Or we could also change it to, are these her keys? Estas llaves son de ella. Todo depende de a quién está preguntando. Y luego acá en esta pregunta, específicamente con el your y el my, hay que tener lo que yo les explicaba de la correspondencia, ¿verdad? Estas son sus llaves. Sí, estas son mis llaves. O oh, no, estas no son mis llaves, right? So that's why you change it. Con el we? Our. It would be, are these our keys? Para we is our, our keys. Our. Yeah. Is it clear now? Okay. Estamos claros? All right. Yes. Excellent. Yes. So now let's try to work on this exercise. Let's see if we could get it. Over here. So we are going to work in knowledge check number 2.7. There we have to complete the conversation by selecting the correct answer for each sentence or question. For example, in number one, we got this your umbrella. No, it's not. So what do we have to add? ¿Qué tendríamos que agregar ahí? Are. 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 Is. Are or is. Are. We're talking about the umbrella. Is. Is this your umbrella? Do you know the meaning of umbrella? Manejamos el significado. Sombría. Sombría, that's right. Sombría. Okay, so we say, is this your umbrella? No, it's not. Number two. Are, is, or what? Are, these, are, are. are. Exactly, we say, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thanks. Are these your keys? Okay, next one. Um, how, where, or when are my glasses? Where. Where. Where, where, where right? are. Where are my glasses? They are on the table. And the last one, it says, is this my pen? No, it's not. It is. They are not. No, it's not. It's, 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 not. it's not. That is right. Is this my pen? No, it's not. It's, it's not. mine. It's mine. Is the mine uh, significa me? Is this my pen? No, it's not. It's mine. No, it's me. Right? Okay, very well. So, oh, I don't know how to fix this. Give me a second.
Okay, so now we are going to practice making questions using are these and is this in this way. For example, I come and ask you, I show you this, I show you an object. And then I say, is this a ruler? Is this a ruler? You answer. No, no, it's not. No, it's not, right? Okay, so that's what we are going to do. I want each of you to make a question. Cada uno va a ir haciendo una pregunta, escoge algo que tenga ahí a la mano, lo muestra, y hace la pregunta, are these or is this? So are these for the plural, remember, more than one, and is this for only one thing, the singular? Okay, so go ahead, Lorena. Are these sunglasses? Okay, what's the answer, guys? Yeah. No, they are not. They are. No, they are not. No. They are glasses. Hay una diferencia entre glasses y sunglasses. These are glasses. Glasses. Son lentes. Sunglasses mm -hmm. son lentes. Son glasses. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got two different words. All right. Thank you, Lorena, very well. Um, Ana Baños, ask the question. Mm -hmm. Uh, are, is this a box? Is this a box? What do you say? What's the answer? Yes, this is. Yes, it is, right? Very good. Thank you, Anna. Mario, it's your turn. Is, is this a book? Is this a book? Yes, this is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, yes. Christian, you're next. Um, no tengo cámara por el momento. Okay, don't worry. Just ask us a question. Solo nos dice la pregunta, entonces. Uh, are these a keys? Are these keys? Um, let's say yes, they are. Okay, thank yes. you, Christian. Okay. Carlota, can you ask a question? Is this a car? Okay, what's the answer? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. That's right. Thank you, Carlota. Midei, now you ask a question. Yes. Okay. It is um shoe. Okay, answer please. No, it is not. No, it is not. Okay, thank you, Mide. It's Enrique, not. go ahead. Is this USB? Um, sorry, can you repeat it? USB. Is this a USB? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. What's the answer? Uh, la siguiente pregunta es no. No, la respuesta les estoy pidiendo a los compañeros. La pregunta está bien. Very good. Okay. So Enrique asked, "Is this a USB?" So what do we say? Yes, it is, or no, it isn't. Yes. It is it. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, it is. thank you, Enrique. Thank you, Christian. Yes. And let's see who's missing. Who hasn't participated? Andrea Michel, make a question, please. Is this a notebook? Okay. Answer. Anybody? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. it is. Okay, very well. Thank you, Andrea. Fatima Navas, do you have a question? Mm, is this a pillow? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Diana Argueta, tell me a question. Thank you. 
is this a uh, sharpener? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you, Diana. Very good. Gerardo, it's your turn. Uh, are these your colors? Okay, so we answer no, they are not. Thank you, Gerardo. Carolina, you're the last one. Are these your okay? Are these your keys? Okay, what's the answer, guys? La respuesta, let's see. Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, yes, it's not. they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carolina. So that's the way we use these and this in questions. And now let's move to our next lesson objective. So in this class, you will learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. So... We are going to talk about the different prepositions. Let me just check the time. Let me see if we can watch the video. Let's try it. Hmm. Let's give it a try. Wait a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one. Where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? You can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box where are the keys the keys are on the box these are on the box where are the keys the keys are next to the box the keys are next to the box where are the keys the keys are under the box. Now is your okay. Now we have a little exercise exercise for us to practice. So in number one, it says the books are in the book bag, right? Then we got number two, the DVD player is where is it? Next. Next to. Next to what? The TV. Next to the TV. Exactly. Next to the TV or next to the television. Television. Then we got number three. It says the map is. On there. The map is under the newspaper. Under the newspaper. Number four. Where is the chair? The chair wow. is behind the desk. Behind the desk. Number five, the wallet is? The wallet is on the purse. On the purse. On the and purse. number six, where's the cell phone? In front of? In front of the address book. It's in front of the address book. Pretty well. So here we have the different prepositions we heard about. First we have in. So it's, for example, um, when I have, let me see. So I got a box over here and, got, and I got a little polar bear. So let me put the polar bear in the box. Now it's in the box. 
dentro, right? Mm -hmm. In. In. So I say the polar bear is in the box. Then we got on. Sobre. On would be exactly sobre. The polar bear is on the box. box. We got the next one, which is in front of. So I have the box, in then front, I have. Front, uh, yes, the polar bear is in front in of the, the box. In front of the. Behind would be the opposite, right? We got the box and we put the polar bear over here. So we say Atrás. that the polar bear is behind the box. Atrás de la caja. Exactly. Next one is next to the box. Then the polar bear. We say that the polar bear is next parte. to the box. A la par. La parte. Exactly. Thank you. And the other one we have is under. So now the polar bear is under the box. Debajo. 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 De Debajo. Yeah, debajo or depending on how we translate it. Okay. Es debajo o abajo? Um, well, in this case, I would translate it as debajo. Está debajo de la, de la caja, right? Yeah, that's what I would say. Pero sí, dependiendo de, del contexto en que la estemos utilizando, podría ser abajo también. Okay. All right, so I need you to repeat, please, in... In. 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 On. 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 In front of. In front of. of. Behind. 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 Next to. Next to. Under. 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 Okay, and then let me just mention here we have two different kinds of pronunciation. We can say behind and we could also say behind. Va a escuchar de pronto behind. dos tipos de pronunciación. Behind, uh, que sería como la más común, pero también existe el otro tipo que es como behind. Uh, yeah, some people pronounce it like that. It's uh, also correct. And how to make sentences. Cómo hacemos um, oraciones utilizando las prepositions. So it's very easy. For example, here I got, let's see my notebook and a glass so i can say um well you tell me a sentence a ver hagamos una oración we got a glass and the notebook what can we say the glass ahí está la parte the okay. glass next to the the book the notebook the notebook the, notebook. the, notebook. the glass notebook. The is, is next, to, next to the notebook. Okay, so it's important to notice that we need to use the verb be. Here we have the form is. The glass is, is next um, to the book, the notebook. The glass is next to the notebook. Y luego, fíjese en otro detalle, que es que las preposiciones no necesitan nada más que al complemento. Entonces digo, next to the notebook, next to the cell phone, next to the table, and so on. No hay que agregarle nada más que eso, okay? Let's make another example. So let's see. Let me get this. So I got the cell phone and the pencil. What can we say? The, the, one? the cell phone pencil is in front is behind of the cell phone. Okay, so we could say the pencil is in front of the cell phone or the, the cell phone is, is behind, behind the pencil, behind. right? We got two different options. Let's try it. Behind. The pencil or the pencil is in front of the cell. Okay, so we're missing under. Let me get something to so let's make it with this one. 
Oh, well, this way. So we got the polar bear and the box. Lo que está debajo, ¿cómo se llama? Oh, the polar bear. Polar bear. Polar bear. Mm -hmm. Under in the box. Okay, the polar bear is under. Is under the box. Is under the box. Okay. And in the same way, we can use, for example, um, I got two markers. So I have the markers, then I have the notebook. Where are the markers? The markers is, is, on, is the, on, on, the, on or are. On. What do we say? The markers is or are? Are. Are, are. right? Are under the notebook. Let's say are. the markers are under the notebook. But we must be careful with the singulars and plurals. For singular nouns, we use is or plural are, right? Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions about this? Tenemos preguntas? No questions? Um, maybe you're copying. Están copiando. Um, the marker, ¿qué es? Markers, marcadores, plumones, markers. The markers are under. Gracias. Okay, you're welcome. May we continue now? Okay, so I think we may continue now. Let's see. All right, so we were going to do this exercise, but because of the time, we are going to just leave it for maybe next class. So let's talk about um, today's second lesson objective. So in this class, you will become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103 and talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. So here, let's review the numbers. We already know the numbers from 1 to 10, right? Last time we talked about, well, from zero to 10. We talked about it in the first class. So um, now let's review from 11 on. So we got 11, repeat please. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 22, 22, 22, 
26, 26, 30. Then we go 10 by 10. 10. It goes like 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 100. 100. 100. Okay, and then after the 100, we go like 101, 102, 103, and we continue that way, right? So do we have any questions, any doubts about pronunciation or anything? Tenemos preguntas? 30, 30, como se, ese no lo puedo. Okay, 30, 30, 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Uh -huh. 30. There you go. So I need you to continue practicing the numbers. Please um, try to keep on practicing them. Say them in your mind. Just remember about them. Tomorrow we are going to continue with some other practice. And um, also I want to remind you about the, the, the deadline of the course. La fecha de finalización del curso. Um, ustedes ya, ya les han informado antes, pero igual recalcar que el curso se termina el 10 de diciembre. En la plataforma van a ver una fecha diferente, pero no nos confundamos. La fecha de finalización es la que les han informado a través de, de, los, de los emails o de los mensajitos en WhatsApp, que es el 10 de diciembre. Um, si ven una fecha más, eh, más tardecito en la... En la plataforma es por cuestiones administrativas. Creo que aparece ahí como una semana después que se cierra el curso, pero en realidad vamos a evaluar el trabajo que se haya realizado hasta el día 10 de diciembre a la medianoche. De modo que tenemos hasta esa fecha para completar un mínimo del 80% y así poder aprobar el curso y pasar al siguiente nivel. Solo les encargo, por favor, que tomemos en cuenta ese detalle. Hay que seguir trabajando. Vamos muy bien hasta el momento. Eh, recordemos, esta semana estamos llegando a la sección 3. Ya luego tendríamos la siguiente semana para trabajar sección 4. Y la última semana estaríamos trabajando la sección 5. Si sí, usted puede adelantar mucho más que eso, está perfecto, ¿ok? So that's all for today's class. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Take care and have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye. 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 bye.